Hello everybody, welcome back to the next level, which is find Dr. Reich. Um, and let's go and find him. This is a picture of Dr. Reich here, just in case we get him confused with a Skager. Um, a couple of new things in this level, one of them being the these um, some of these platforms are... I wonder if it tells you? No. Of course it doesn't, you have to just work out yourself. Um, they're kind of uh, semi-destroyed. So, if you stand on them, if there's too much weight on them, they will collapse into the kind of abyss you see below. Um, and by too much weight, I mean if two of two enemies stand on it, or two marines stand on it, or one marine and one enemy. So you have to be really careful not to stand near it if you see an enemy, or put obviously two of your uh, your own marines on there. And in the background, you can see I'll move over to it a Kaiku, which is a new Skager in the game too, and it's basically um, impossible to kill unless you go into defense mode and kill it while it's shooting at you, and what it does is it takes a shot at you to where you were last standing, which I'll show you now by moving this marine, um, see it's shooting on the platform which we were all standing on. Um, I'm going to break off into two groups here and use one marine on each side to kind of lure the Gorther into a place where I can hopefully shoot them in the back. I think the the role of the Kaiku and why they've introduced it on this level is really to keep your marines moving. If it wasn't for the Kaiku on this level you would really be able to easily exploit the the Gorther uh, slightly more by, you know, I could basically line my men up here and just stand them there and not move. Um, but by putting the Kaiku in this level, you have to constantly move, or else you're you're going to end up getting shot by it. So that looks okay. Everyone's all right. And um, the Kaiku, it's, it's a, it kind of reminds me of um, the Wraith from Halo, which was a, uh, I want to demonstrate the uh, Lee's, or no, sorry, Paul's sniper rifle here and just show you how far it can actually do damage. And this is like a good screen away, this Skager, but he has no problems killing that whatsoever. But yeah, the, the, um, I have to be careful not to stand where Lee was standing because that could also count as uh, somewhere I will get hit. Because even though it's aiming for Lee, it would end up hitting Cornelius there. Um, because that's where Lee was last standing, you know, so you just have to be also careful about that. Um, but yeah, getting back to it, the, the, the Wraith in Halo, it's almost like a delayed shot. So the Wraith is, it'll shoot where you're standing, but because you take, like, it takes about three seconds for the shot to actually reach you, um, it's it's uh, there's a delay there, and that's really what the the kaiku reminds me of, and it's almost like it, to me turn-based games don't make any sense at all. There's ne there's no su such thing as um uh, if you were in a gunfight, the person you were shooting at wouldn't just stand perfectly still for you to take a shot at them. Um, but that kind of makes it like if I think about it like the wraith and Halo. It makes a bit more sense. Um, I don't know. That's just how that's just how I kind of think about turn-based games. It's almost like uh, it's as if the the kaiku is shooting you, but the shot's delayed, and that's why it's taking its time to to hit you. And that's to me, that's how turn-based works in my mind. Uh, certainly, as far as the kaiku uh, goes. And I hear all these. Uh, Skyger on a flood. Have to be really careful that too much. If too many of these Skyger got on these platforms, um, they will uh, they'll collapse the platforms, and I'll not be able to get across there. So, um, I might actually start making a move. It's hard to know what to do at this point because if you sit around and wait for too long, you're going to end up getting trapped on this side of the the platforms. Oh, I can probably kill him, hopefully. Yep. Move one step. 
Um, move one step for him too. I'm gonna move uh, Zozak trying to try and get some of these green crates over here. The Kaiku's not much of a threat unless you run out of turns, really. Oh, there you go. Uh, that just demonstrated the uh, the Gorther stood in that and uh, fell. Now you can see the his platform's gone. Uh, that makes things a little easier for me. But I would have liked to get some experience points, which doesn't look like it's going to happen anymore. Um, I should be fine to move up and just kill this guy. Obviously, if I was to move Cornelius on this platform now, it would fall too, so... Do watch out for that. Uh, Zozax or Cornelius now should have a shot on this remaining Gorther because of the way they're standing. No matter what way he turns, his back's going to be to at least one of them. Hope Brat can take this guy out. No. It's a good thing I gave him two moves there. So I'm really hoping that Zozax can take this guy out. Good. Four experience points, that's probably good. I think that's because he's using a new weapon, probably. I'm not entirely sure if I can step in this or not, and I'm not going to risk it. Um, but, oh, I shouldn't have... I'm actually really lucky the Kaiku didn't aim for the, the Marine, I just rested it there. Um, just to get him off this platform, I'm going to move Paul up a little. Just to get him that one space off it. Like a brat really could use ammo. I'm nearly tempted to go back and get that ammo crate. Um, but no, I'll push on. Cornelius yes, okay, has a lot of moves because of that rest. Oh. I'm on D, who knows? Make it lucky. Sure. Nice. No problem. Just getting these uh, these green crates cool. as many as I can. And Cornelius is taking these guys out, hopefully. I know you missed one of them. Ah, oh, no. That could be dangerous. Oh, it's okay, that was the last move. I'm really hoping he's not in panic. No, he's not, thank God. I could actually try and demonstrate, now that I have the sniper rifle, it's, it's a really good weapon for countering... Ah, oh, damn it. Weapon damage. I don't know how long that will affect the weapon for. Oh. I'm usually, I'm quite lucky here actually. I'm uh, really getting by on the skin of my teeth. Need to get these other guys up to fend off these Skager behind the crates. I'll actually just demonstrate now uh, Paul on defense and hopefully he can take out the Kaiku. I, I think I'm just hoping that when your weapon's damaged that doesn't mean it's actually kind of broken forever. I don't want him to get hurt by that um, skagger up there. No I think all the green crates are taken, so... Um, yeah, let's see, let's see his defense mode. Yeah, there you go, actually worked. And hopefully I can take him out. Uh, but in defense mode, the Kaiku... Whoa raises its armor and allows you to shoot it. Now he's in panic and that couldn't have happened at a better time really because uh, before I wouldn't have been able to go into rest with the Kaiku about I was a bit worried that he's going to get hit by this green thing so yeah the um, with the Kaiku shooting at each uh, 
each of your men while they're standing still you really can't afford to go into rest because it's going to shoot you so luckily the kaiku was destroyed in the last move Paul's still in panic so it's really up to Cornelius to try and get rid of these guys and he should be able to just use his um, his uh, knife. Luckily Brat's weapon is now usable but I'm really running low on ammo so I'm gonna go back and um, what I'll do is I'll kill that guy and move up here to the ammo get hot lesbian assassin up trying to get some kills with his uh, flamethrower because he needs he needs to try and use as much of the ammo as possible that was that was a good move there because he's right in knife range which is lucky I don't see any more green lines about but that doesn't stop there from being some skagger so I'll just try and be a bit cautious here get some ammo for brat why not Rest him. I hope there's no skag around here. Not seeing it yet. In position, sir. B, sir. Always ready, sir. So all all I'm really doing here is trying to find Dr. Reich and I mean there's not too many hiding places in this level, so it's quite obvious where he actually is. And um you know, there's two doors here. There's one goes into green crates. One doesn't have any green crates, so he's, you know, he's obviously in the one with no green crates. Um, I'll leave Paul here. Move Cornelius up. And I don't even need ammo really. I don't want to open the door just yet to to find uh, Dr. Reich. Paul is really low on health, but it shouldn't matter. I read you, sir. Um, yeah, because I want to go in and get these green crates, really. I'm not sure if there's any skag around here. There's no green lines, but I'm not going to risk it because I've gone this far with no, uh, no trouble, so... Let's... See what we're dealing with. Yeah, there is some. I thought there would be. But then both on defense, I'm not going to be able to do much. Hopefully. And I'll make it that bit harder for them by putting a flame there. Out of ammo. <laughs> I was lucky I was the last guy. Um, actually, now that I think about it, uh, some of these crates have um, enhancements for your weapons. I just remembered there now that, um, and I uh, I'm going to use uh, certain people to open them that I think need them. Hot Lesbian Assassin for one doesn't need them. Cornelius could probably use one of them, and I think Zozax could use one of them. I think it's just like an enhancement. It just um, it's a uh, it's like, um, probably like a light weapons module or something. And I'm actually going to cheat here, <laughs> so I get the right one. And I'm going to use rem remind position. This is the first time I've used this, and I'll open it and it'll tell me. Okay, that was the equipment one, so that didn't really matter. It must be different each time. I think I remember it being slightly different last time. You get Zolzak in here to open one. See what we're dealing with. I just the reason I'm doing this, and it's kind of cheating, it's kind of exploiting the game or whatever. But I just don't want to um, end up giving Zozax or giving a a player something he doesn't need. So let's see. That's points as well. That's weird. Um, I'm pretty sure one of these is like a, a an enhancement or something. There you go. One light weapon and one heavy weapon skills. So. Given that to Zozax because he doesn't have much experience at the minute. Open the door and what do you know there's uh, Dr. Reich. And turn and end level hopefully. 
Oh wait, no, you have to stand in a little, um... Wait a minute, maybe Dr. Wright has to stand on it. No, it just says reach the red X in the red area, so... Yeah, there you go. And we got a commendation. I'm surprised because I used a lot of moves. Maybe it's not to do with how many turns you take. But yeah, I've got a commendation, so that was good. I don't know why that was quite sloppy, if you ask me. And quite a lot of equipment points, but... Yeah, I still can't use those equipment points until I go into this. I think after this level, probably I'll be able to use them. But I think that's. I think I'm out of time here, so I'm going to end this level with the narration and hopefully have the next level up soon. Thanks for watching. The east exit looks to be our only way out, but we've got to keep Dr. Reich in one piece and that'll slow us down. There's what looks like a different breed of Skager around here, but they haven't made their intentions clear. I can still hear Kelly saying he has a pretty shitty feeling about this place. He doesn't know the half of it. <laughs>